Hey everyone, Shelly here with Life Creates Art. And today we are starting a three-part series on affirmations. And we're gonna be painting three different types of paintings where, really simple paintings too, where you can follow along and paint these paintings with me. And then we're gonna write all over them our own affirmations all over the paintings, whatever you want all over the all over the paintings. And that way you can hang them all over your house and they will be your own. Affirmations are your own way of looking at uh, whatever makes you feel good. For example, can you look at a piece of chocolate and it excites you and you go, ooh, mm, yummy, ooh, I wanna eat that chocolate. And you get an actual uh, physical, since I, I do anyway, <laughs> whenever I look at chocolate, I go, ooh, or a piece of cake. You see a chocolate cake when you're walking through and you go, ooh, or ice cream. Ooh, yeah, I wanna eat that ice cream. I do anyway, which is why I you know, need to lose weight. Anyway, uh, anything, it doesn't have to be chocolate, doesn't have to be ice cream, anything that you look at visually that brings a sensation to you. That's what these affirmations, that's what these paintings are going to do. They are going to be something that is visually pleasing to your eye that will draw your eye and then it's going to have things like, hello, beautiful, any words that, that or, or phrases or quotes that mean a lot to you and you're going to be reading them and, and eating them up every single day. Not, not chocolate cake, because <laughs> that's not good for you. But <laughs> every single day you'll be eating these words. Do you know that, um, and, and just so you know, I am a minister. I know you've heard this before. I am a minister. I've been one for 11 plus years. I've done a lot of counseling on this channel. I don't talk about God. I don't even talk about spiritual things, really. But what we do here on this channel is really want to build you up and build your life and make sure you live the best life possible. And since I am an art therapy coach, certified art therapy coach, I do bring these things to you so that you can, through art, build your life. And sometimes I just try to build your life uh, not through art. My husband and I do a thing uh, on relationships and all of that. So uh, I want to bring this to you uh, with art and it's so simple and something you can create anybody can do. You don't have to be a professional artist to do this. So now I want to talk to you about one more thing when it comes to affirmations. Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Whatever you put out into the world, it comes back to you equally. So if you're putting out bad words, if you're putting out negative words to other people, if you're speaking them out over your own life, then guess what's going to come back to you in your life? It's going to come back as bad. So it's going to come back as sickness. If you're always saying, oh, I'm crappy, I'm sick, I'm sick. If you're posting on Facebook all the time, I'm so sick, I'm so sick, I have a cold again. Uh, 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 uh. Guess what's going to happen? You're always going to have that mentality that you're always sick. And stop doing that and only focus on the good things. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't express to people. Now, I got into that when I was in religion. I got into that, what can I say? What can't I say? Because if I can't say, tell someone that I'm not feeling well, then what can I say? You know, don't, don't get stuck in that. You can tell someone, hey, I don't feel good today. But what I don't want you to get into is that, that constant uh, complaining about, oh, I'm so sad, I'm so sad, I'm so sad, and, and my life is so miserable. Now, that's why we're doing these affirmations, because 
what you have in front of you and you see those affirmations on these paintings that we're going to be doing and you're going to speak them. If you see it and you go, I am beautiful. I am wonderful. My life is wonderful. My life is beautiful. I woke up today. I do have a beautiful life. And you just say those things just as you're walking by and it reminds you that you do have a wonderful and beautiful life, even if you don't feel it, even if you don't have it right then, just remind reminds you and it lifts you up a little bit. So now we're going to get started. Today we're going to do a sunflower, but I just wanted to give you that few minutes of, of teaching on what we're going to be doing here and the reason we're going to be doing it. So this is part one. Today we're going to be doing a sunflower. So let's get started. Okay, and we are back. So as you can probably see, I have sketched out the sunflower, but I'm going to take just a few moments to cover this with you to draw it on your own canvas. So you're going to turn your canvas, uh, not horizontal, but in a vertical fashion. And we're going to just do a basic half circle, just right there on the edge. And then I want you to be really free with this. I don't want you to have to do it exactly the same way. We're just going to do some flowers here. You be free with this. Remember, this is your painting. This is your uh, art. And I want you to be very, very free with this. So you're just going to do a flower petal here. Even if it's not a sunflower, even if you don't use yellow paint, I, even if it's pink, I want you to do whatever you want to do. So we're just going to take it up. We're going to do another petal here. And I want you to do the next petal right here. And then we're going to do another petal just kind of peeking up between those two. And we're going to do another one right here. And bring it straight down. And then this one's going to have a little curve in it. So we're going to bring it up. We're going to curve it around to a little point and bring it around back down to the center of the flower. Now we're going to add this little one in the center again. We're going to just bring it up and down again. And then this one comes up. And then let's give this one just a little curve. It's going to come right back down. It's not going to come down to the center of the flower. This one's going to have a little curve in the top. And it's going to come back down to the center of the flower. And then this one starts at the edge of the canvas. Again, don't worry if it's not perfect. These are flower petals. They're not all perfect. Just bringing it down there. And then this one's going to pop up right in between. Okay, so there we have our flower. Now we have our basic flower. So now I'm going to get my paints ready. I have started, uh, I have decided that I am going to paint this section here in some blues. Because I want to write all over here, I want it to be in lighter blues and probably will stamp a little bit of whites and kind of blend some whites through here because I want to write in, in black marker all over here. And also, so this is a turquoise and a light blue in Liquitex and Artist Loft. And I have a lot of yellows here. I didn't have as many uh, yellows as I liked, so I had to pull out some of my craft smarts here. But I have my Liquitex Cadium Yellow in Medium and my uh, Naples Yellow in Liquitex. These are both Liquitex. This I found at Walmart. It's simply acrylic and it's a, a yellow okra. And I haven't used this paint much, so I have to see how it is. But I pulled out a bunch of yellows in Craft Smarts and I'm going to kind of play with them. And that's the thing about this is that I want you to have fun. I want you to kind of play with your colors. If you have a lot of yellows, then have fun. If you have other colors, then have fun with those too. You don't have to do exactly what I do. If you're, if you're 
painting for the first time, then start with these basic colors, but have a lot of fun with this too. This is your creation and I want you to be creative with this. So for the center of the flower, I have uh, my raw sienna and then I have a little raw umber to add some highlights and of course my white. Um, I also have unbleached titanium and uh, the, the raw umber is going to add some of the some little shadow in between the flowers. So I'm gonna get my paint ready and be right back. Okay, now, probably should have told you that I am going to start with doing this part of the painting first. I am going to combine these colors a little bit. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water. It, remember that if you add more than 30% water, then it breaks down the molecules in your paint too much. And after a while, your paint will start to crack. So after a number of years, if you want to leave these for your grandchildren and children and great grandchildren, you will have paintings that will be cracking. So this is a little darker than I wanted, but that's okay. So I'm starting with the darker on the top. And I can change that. I'll try to go around my sunflower as much as I can. Don't forget the edges. And now I'm gonna try to win my bit and blend in some of this lighter here. So you can start with the, some of the darker on the top and then blend in. If you saw my blending video, you can blend in, uh, go lighter and lighter and lighter as you go down. here. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to add some white. I forgot my white. I got a nice big artist loft white because you use a lot of white, whether you use acrylics or whether you use uh, oils, you use just a ton of white. That's pretty. Look at that. So just keep blending down and keep pulling that down even further. And you just keep working it around your sunflower. And even if you go on your sunflower to, to make sure that this is all nice and straight, that's okay because you're going to be painting on your sunflower and you won't notice it at all. Adding some of that dark down here too. And if I don't like it, I can just paint over it. Make sure you get your corners, your edges. Don't forget those. You see what I did here? Just to get my corners so I can just fix that by blending in again. And you just keep working your blends and just keep going and going and going and blending. I'm gonna add a little more water. That's gonna be really pretty. I actually liked that I went darker and then a little bit lighter and then added some dark down here too. Don't forget those edges and then the top. 
It's nice if you decide not to frame this, but these are very nice to frame. And generally, Michaels has really great deals on framing, or they have raw frames that are uh, that you can paint yourself. Okay. All right. I really like that, and gonna leave this sit for a few minutes and let this dry and it's acrylic so it'll just take a couple minutes and then we'll work on a sunflower. Okay so everything is nice and mostly dry. So I'm gonna start with a nice bright uh, this is a deep yellow and I'm gonna start building I'm just gonna do dry on dry with my leaves here because yellow tends to be really thin. Probably have to do a couple of coats on here. And I really want to build on this. Don't forget to do the edges. <clears throat> As you can see, I can see the blue through here. So we're really going to have to build on this. It may take a few coats of yellow to build on this, these flowers, these sunflowers. It take a little time, so we are going to do one coat, and we're going to take a little break. I do the the center, and then we're going to do another coat. And sometimes layers with yellow take some time, and because we do want to <clears throat> uh, have this looking really beautiful, because this is something that is going to be important to us. We're going to be looking at this every day and we're going to have our affirmations on here. You can even put some on the flowers, all around the flowers. We, it, we, wanted to, we want to take time. We want to have it something that we have put time into and effort into because this is important to us. Our life is important to us. The things that we do in life, the things that we put effort to, should be uh, done with diligence and uh, excellence and not rushed. I know that they have those uh, bodega things where they you know, have you come and they paint a simple painting like this and it's nice and rushed and all of that and we're doing this uh, on a YouTube video and, and fairly quickly but I want to tell you you can take as much time as you need to do this just because I'm doing it on a 30 minute YouTube video doesn't mean you can't stop the video and take time to build on this and do your own detail. And I want you to do that if you need to, because this is something that is yours. And I want you to build on that. So just bringing out those petals, even if you paint it over the lines, that's okay. Just bring them out. You kind of see them here. Mm, I think I did one here. That's okay. If I didn't, we've got another petal there. That's all right. <laughs> Again, don't forget the edge.
All right, so there is my first base. Again, don't worry about all this blue. We are going to be building on that and covering it with other types of yellow. So don't worry, it needs to be built upon. All right, now we're gonna work on this. So I've already got some of my brown here. I'm going to add a little bit of water, my clean water there. Get the edges here. little bit more. All right. It's good for a first layer. Let's just dry for a few minutes. Okay. I wanted to wait just a few minutes because yellow is a little bit tricky because it is so thin. It can kind of pull if you try to work with it too soon. So it's not completely dry, but I wanted to just wait a few minutes. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of a darker color to this yellow to try to get some of that blue covered. Add a little too much water. And these are sunflowers. Or whatever you, whatever color you decided to paint them. It could be pink, it could be blue, it could be orange. Whatever your imagination came up with. Completely up to you. This is more of an orange. This is actually light orange. Uh, it's a cross smart. Sorry. <laughs> but there are different variations, as you know, in flowers. There are different colors in our faces. There are different colors in, in anything. Uh, if you watched my portrait video, you will see that all things have layers and different variations of different levels of color. And flowers have the same thing. That doesn't mean these are going to stay orange because they're not. I'm going to add more yellow to these actually. I'm just trying to offer a base and get more of that blue covered up. As you see, it did cover up some of the blue. Now, do you see what's happening right here? How it's kind of pulling? The paint is kind of pulling? That's that yellow underneath because it's not quite dry enough. That's what happens. I just needed to let it sit for a little while. And now I'm gonna to have to let it sit for even longer because yellow does that. Don't forget the edges. Take time with your paintings. Give them the time that they deserve. 
Don't try to rush things. You don't need to rush things. Look at that. Look at how that's pulling. And now I have no coverage for my blue. So now it's gonna have to take even more time. All right, that's all right. It'll work. See, look at that. Yuck. All right. So have to take more time to allow this to dry. All right, be right back. Okay, so I took the liberty of painting another coat of brown over this middle section. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take a little water and I'm going to lighten up my yellow a little bit more. I'm gonna use a little thicker brush here. And lighten up my yellow again. I think I added a little too much water, so I'm gonna mix it more with my paint here. And I just want my sunflowers to look more like sunflowers. Again, yellow is very thin paint. Having a little bit of trouble covering up that uh, blue that we use, but that's all right. We can use another layer and keep covering. I'm gonna layer on my yellow a little thicker. There we go, that's much better. That's good, flowers are multi-layered. Multi-colored, oh, I like it. Look at that. start to come in with some some nice highlights here pretty soon and low lights be free with your colors be nice and free A little cracking here. My paint got a little thick right through there when it was drying. I actually put a fan on it. So it's a little bit of wet, a little bit too wet, and then it cracked. Which in my opinion, I like it because I think it adds a little bit of a uh, texture to my flower. A texture that I like, as a matter of fact. You can actually buy a medium that adds a cracking to your paint. Okay, let me come in one more time up here. Go in there. And you can see that I'm, I'm adding very thick layers because yellow is a very thin paint, very opaque. Okay, now I am going to take a thinner brush. I'm gonna use this color right here, which, dare I say, yellow ochre. Kind of a baby diarrhea color. Anyway, did I say that out loud? Uh, <laughs> but I'm going to add a little bit of texture to the middle section. All right, I said it out loud, guys. But any of you that are mothers like me have seen this come out of your babies many times. Um, so I've added this, I've added a, quite a lot. Now I'm gonna come in with my dark again and I'm going to mix it up a little bit. This is where you want to kind of play with it. Bring it in, sort of blend that in. And you know with sunflowers that there are seeds in 
the center. So what we're gonna do here, I do believe that I'm going to use my brush here. Mm, it's not gonna work very well. I'm gonna use this brush. So I think I'm going to doing this. I'm kind of mixing it with different colors of paint that's on my canvas and I'm just stabbing it and making some texture here. I'm going to bring it out a little bit onto my sunflower. Having a little fun with that. And I might even put a little darker shade. There we go. Get this open really fast. This is raw umber. I'll bring a little bit of that in. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. That raw umber is nice, isn't that? That adds some good texture. Look at that. Love it. Love it, don't you? Okay. Now, we are going to continue with our flower and we're actually going to use some of this raw umber with a smaller brush. I'm gonna use a brush about this big and we're gonna take some of that raw umber mixed with our uh, raw sienna and we're just gonna kind of come in here and add some of the dark shadowing we are going to work this all out meaning we are going to lighten this a little bit we're just bringing our shadowing in a little bit for right now if you want to bring that up a little higher, this is our little flower. So it's going to be a little bit more shadow on this one coming up. Going up with that. shadows under here, maybe under the flower. Again, we're going to blend this a little bit. All right. Now let's take this nice thick brush I'm going to get my water out as much as I can and we're going to go back in with the brighter yellow and we're just going to kind of blend that all in, still having that dark there, not blending it out too much because we don't want to lose that, add a little more water to it. We don't want to lose the, oops, I sort of pulled away some of that yellow. Don't want to do that. Add some more of that yellow paint. We don't want to lose our this the uh, the low lights, the shadowing that we're adding. 
We don't want it to be quite so defined. I'm just kind of trying to make it wispy. A little more water. welcome to play with this a little further if you like. I welcome you to. I welcome you to add any colors that you would like. Any more colors. But I'm going to let this dry a little bit. I'm going to play with it myself. Maybe add a little more orange here. And then we're going to do some affirmations on here and have some fun with it and just make this our personal affirmation flower. And this is gonna be yours to look at and enjoy and uh, add a little bit. You know what? Let's do this. Let's brighten it up a little bit. That was a little too much. But if you want, you can add a little white and put some highlight in there. Okay. Bring that up over the top too. Just so it looks like you've got a little sunshine coming in on your the tips of your flowers and then just keep blending and keep blending and keep blending Remember, this is your creation and and it's okay if it doesn't look like mine, it's okay. This is your creation. It doesn't have to be my creation. I remember watching Bob Ross do his thing and thinking, I can't paint like Bob Ross. <laughs> That's okay. None of us can paint like Bob Ross because we're not Bob Ross. None of us are Bob Ross and none of you are Shelly. Uh, I'm not you. I can't paint like you. I can't draw like you. I can't do your kind of art. And uh, you can't do my kind of art because we're all individuals. So in a second, uh, we're going to be doing our affirmations. We're just going to take a permanent marker, basically, and write all over our art because we want to look at this. We're going to enjoy this and uh, and look at it and have beautiful thoughts and write beautiful thoughts on this. So be back in a second. Okay, everyone, don't forget Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is equal and opposite reaction. What you put out into this world comes back to you equally. So what we're gonna put out there are things that are positive, not things that are negative, things that are positive. We have painted this really, really beautiful picture, whatever color you have created, your own thing of beauty. And so now we're going to use a Sharpie in whatever color Sharpie that you want. I'm gonna use black for mine. I have things that I want to write. Now I'm going to create two other, there's gonna be two more parts to this. There's going to be a, uh, a nice tree with lots of different colors flowing from it and also a palm tree with sort of a, uh, a sunset. And so if you want to do uh, your affirmations on those as well, you can. I'm gonna use all three. So I've written down different affirmations and I'm gonna put several of my own affirmations on this painting and then spread them out on the other two as well. So for this one, I know the ones I wanna put and I'm gonna finish off this painting just writing some of my 
my own affirmations on here. And I encourage you to write yours down, spread them out over the paint, it's painting and, and just enjoy, frame it, hang it up wherever you want, where you can see it every day. And so I encourage you to love yourself, honor yourself, and speak kindly to yourself. And I will see you next week. Next week, we'll do the tree. And then the third one, we'll finish up with the palm tree. So I hope you've enjoyed this. And remember to speak positively about yourself. So we're going to go ahead and, and I'm just going to write my affirmations all over here. And we're going to finish this up. All right. I hope you've enjoyed this. Shelly's signing out.